Okay, so let's uh, get into the market space. We'll talk about Black Friday a little bit later, uh, but the last minute, let, let's talk about the mutual fund space. So let's talk about the managed funds market. There's a new kid on the block. Let's talk to Bella Heiner, who is uh, the head of investment uh, research at uh, Codros Capital. Uh, Bella, good morning. Welcome to the program. Live to us from our studios at the Stock Exchange in charge uh, of investment banking. Go uh, good to have you. Good morning, Boston. Thanks for having me. Great. It's a great Friday. So let's talk about the managed funds market uh, so far in 2019. What, what's the state of that market right now, looking at whether it is uh, equity or money market? But I'm sure money market funds seem to be uh, the, the best and the latest game in town. Yeah, rightly so. Um, money market seems to be the toast of investors. And of course, one, there's capital preservation. So at the moment, if you look at the mutual fund space, money market currently account for over 74% of the total mutual fund space. At the moment, total mutual fund is over 800 billion. And of course, money market have a huge chunk of that. But recently, we still seen interest in dollar products. Um, this year, dollar products have gained significantly. Um, they have moved to 64 billion from about 21 billion this year. Um, and really, investors want alternatives. And if you look at the current yield environment at the moment, quite um, abysmal. If you look at the last NTB runs that we had um, on Wednesday, the rates are quite low. So investors are looking for a time team. And of course, there's that fear factor. Is there going to be a devaluation? What happens next? So people are just trying to look for safe events. Um, if you look at the Naira against the dollar over the last 10 years, it's depreciated by about 134%. And um, so in terms of trajectory, people still think dollar gives you like a store value. And that's why we are seeing a lot of interest in dollar mutual funds. Okay, uh, I'm sure uh, if my fund managers like Kodos Capital taking a look at the currency environment in Nigeria. Are you folks encouraged by what the financial regulator has been able to achieve in defending the Naira, the stability in the exchange rate? Is that all part of what is making, uh, is giving rise to what you call the level of uh, uh, FX, Dinam, uh, mutual funds in our local space? Well, why the currency has been a bit stable in terms of exchange rates? But if you look at the external reserve, right, it's lost about six billion from about June, currently under forty billion. Um, if you look at the medical tourism, for instance, on an annual basis, about one point one one billion dollars is spent on medical tourism. About two billion is spent on educational tourism, for instance. Um, our ac current account is in deficit, so some of these things point to the fact that our external reserve, though is um, is strong, but it's still a bit fragile. And in terms of the long run outlook for the external reserve, um, you know, oil is very volatile. And of course, investors try to look at Nigeria in terms of what happens to oil. Um, so I would think the reserve is still strong, at least going into this year. We, we think that there's a bit of concern as we begin to approach 2020 and the year afterwards. So why do we need, so when do we need another dollar denom fund? How much uh, are you guys putting on the table? So two million dollars. Um, that, 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 that's, that's not so much. Um, like I said, we've seen dollar mutual fund gain significantly. Currently, about sixty-four billion. This year, they've been the one that performed the most, and really, it's, it's quite explainable, right? You see a lot of Nigerians also moving to places like Canada. So last year, in terms of remittances, remittances from diaspora was in the excess of twenty-five billion. That was even much more than we got from oil receipts. Oil revenue was $18 billion. So um, there seems to be a lot of inflows from diaspora into the country. Uh, they just want to diversify their portfolio. Um, if you look at the euro bond market, for instance, yield are within the region of 4 to 5%. At the moment, a 91 day treasury bill closed at 6%. One year was at 8%. So really, um, people want alternatives. The low, the low yield environment world does not augur too well for investors. They want returns that will edge against inflation. Inflation is like 11.6%. That means most returns are negative return. 11.6% inflation, while one-year return is about 9% on a yield perspective. So effectively, that means your, your, your return is negative. So is uh, dollar denom managed funds for me? 
uh, again, when you talk about dollars in this environment, all ears go up. So uh, in terms of my entry point, for, for instance, Bolaon. Yeah, so it's just four hundred dollars entry points, and you can you can increase as much as you want. Um, subsequent investment is four hundred dollars as well. Um, so if you can do one thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, whatever works for everybody. But the beauty of mutual fund is that it brings everybody on the level playing ground. Everybody can have access to dollar investments. Ideally, if you are going to do a real bond investment, for instance, you need about two hundred thousand dollars. Not many people can get two hundred thousand dollars to be able to buy euro bonds. However, with a dollar mutual funds, you have avenue to buy euro bonds because the underlying assets for dollar mutual funds are sovereign euro bonds, are corporate euro bonds, and of course, money market instruments in dollars. So really, you are able to edge against inflation. If you look at it, for instance, over a 10-year basis, average TB rate has been about 10%. On a dollar-adjusted basis, that return is negative because dollars, Naira has depreciated against the dollar by 134% in 10 years' time. So if you are looking long term or if you have foreign obligations, sometimes I go to also diversify in currency, not just to diversify in terms of asset base. Mm. Okay. Uh, thank you uh, so much, Bella Hain, our Head of Investment Banking at Codros Capital. We wish you folks all the best as we uh, rejig the number of uh, portfolios and assets that are available to Nigerians uh, as, well, as well as foreigners who are interested in our marketplace. Thank you so much for bringing something new uh, into the conversation. Thank you and do have a great weekend.